From respiratory controls to tablets, some of the world's most famous wheelchairs were custom built for their users' needs. We were born with extraordinary powers. But not even X-Men's Professor X could command his own wheelchair with his mind. And while that's not a reality just yet, a team of London-based researchers are close. It just decodes what we want to do. This is what we call the power of eye movements, our ability that seeing becomes moving. Just this month, Dr. Faisal and his team demonstrated the world's first eye-controlled wheelchair. You look at where you want to go, webcams analyze your gaze, then the chair moves accordingly. Faisal's 15-person lab studied how people use their eyes while moving. They coded a computer program based on that research and hooked it up to a wheelchair, which can reach speeds of up to 15 miles per hour. But this prototype, Faisal admits, isn't perfect yet. For example, how does the program know if you're just looking at the monument from across the street, or if you want to get up close to check it out? How does it differentiate from intended movements and distractions caused by a glimpse of gold? One of the big challenges, uh, and we call that the Midas touch problem after King Midas, and he had this wish that whatever he touched becomes gold, and then he suddenly starved to death because even his food turned into gold. And the same challenge you face when you want to decode eye movements, because not everything that you're looking at is something that you want to act upon. Researchers are still studying how people use their eyes during everyday activities. But once they finish, Dr. Faisal plans to make the program commercially available for any wheelchair. Users would just hook up a computer with the program to their current wheelchair via the joystick control port and attach webcams. Right now, the hardware costs about $50 versus wheelchairs from companies like these. And Dr. Faisal says that programs that decode eye movements go beyond just better health and living is of course not just limited to our medical technology. So the algorithms that we're building can be used to decode the intentions of people when they're watching advertisement, for example, or uh, when they're interacting with each other. So I know, we can help, for example, people who are interested in knowing how a negotiation goes to decode how attentive, how focused these people are on negotiations. Faisal's list of potential applications is endless, which just goes to show, while an eye-operated wheelchair is cool, the ability to decode human behavior could be even more remarkable.